Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Nice to see you again. Here it is, £3,691.79. That's what you wanted to know. How much money did I make on YouTube last year? There's your answer, 3691.79. Now, obviously that is before taxes, that's um, gross revenue rather than profits or anything. I'll break that down a little bit more for you. Um, AdSense was 2,288. Uh, money I made on my website, so my website predominantly selling merch and fish food, things like that, 1,306 pounds and 15 pence. And then affiliates, so when I put a link in the description to something and one of you clicks it and I get a couple of pennies out of that, £97.61. pence. All in all, the total that I managed to scrape in, £3,691.79. pence. So if that's all you came for, there you go, you've got your answer. I don't want to make you wait through a whole video. If that's all you came for, see you later. Thank you very much. Click a like on the way out or give me a sub or something like that. It's very much appreciated. If not, this is my annual video about how well the channel's doing, how well it's growing, what kind of stats, what can I learn from things, the kind of general state of the union, what's going on with the Korean Adventures YouTube channel. So first off, that that big number, that 3,000 odd pounds, I mean, it's not to be sniffed at. The biggest question I often get asked is, is it worth it? And the answer for me might be very different from the answer from you. It's all about and what you get back for what you put in. If I was doing this as a money-making exercise, the answer is a resounding no, it's not worth it. All that money, um, if I divide it by the amount of hours that I've put into each of these things, I think I used a very crude calculation that each video might take me five hours total worth of effort. Um, add up all those hours throughout the year, and if that's the return that I'm getting on that, my hourly rate is below minimum, minimum wage, way below minimum wage, so it's it's obviously not worth it from that point of view, but it's something I enjoy. It's a community that I'm trying to build, that I have built, that I have uh, friends that join me on the live stream every week. I make videos, see the same names coming up time and time again, of people helping me out. Some more helpful than others with the suggestions and the comments of the videos, but you know, it's 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 a hobby. It's a, it's, it's not just a money-making scheme, because um, clearly if it was, it would be a failure. But that's not to say that that shouldn't be sniffed at. What else have we learned? What other stats can I give you? Well, if we look into the views, um, the main stats that I look for when I'm tracking the forms of my YouTube channel anyway is views, subs, watch hours, um, things like that. If I do a comparison of this year to last year, well, I'll put that up on the screen now. So in 2022, we got 460,000 views. In 2021, that was 440,000. Um, hours of view time, 40,000 this last year, 35 the year before that. This year we got 2,500 new subs, the year before that we got 2,200. Uh, and the AdSense revenue, again, that's gone up this year, 2,300 this year for AdSense, 1,900 or just under 2,000. So I've put the percentage increases alongside those things. So they are up, so they're all up, that's a good thing. Um, this is a fairly mediocre, smallish YouTube channel. Um, by no means are these earth-shattering numbers, and I'm well aware of that. But you know, I'm just sharing. Watch and all. This is what this is what this channel is. Um, everything's going up. It's not going up very fast. That that's that would be my only complaint. Those numbers there, the the views only going up less than five percent. Um, I'm glad they're going up, but I'd like them to go up more, obviously. Who wouldn't? That'd be crazy. I'm not saying I want everything to be viral. This is an aquarium channel, after all. It's very hard to make viral videos, or certainly if it's me that's making them. Another thing that I've noticed from last year, one of the, the metrics that I look at is what are my top performing videos? If you are running a YouTube channel, this is a good thing to keep an eye on what is doing well, so as you can repeat it. And that's what they always say, is repeat the things that work well and ditch the things that don't. It's a thing that I struggle to do because, again, I'm not doing this to become the number one aquarium channel. Not This isn't my revenue-earning beast. It's more of a hobby. It's just I'm ticking along, I'm doing the things I want to do, and that's what happens. But, you know, dabble, keep my feet dipped in to see what's going on. And I like to look at what the top performing um, videos are. And something that surprised me was out of my top 10 videos of last year, only one of them was made last year. 
So my top performing videos in 2022 were all made in years previous to that. This is a bit worrying. So am I doing the wrong things? Um, I'm obviously not listening to my own advice here and not doubling down on things that work and getting rid of the things that don't. But it is what it is. So I do like to set myself goals to see what's going on. Um, one of the goals then for next year will be I want five of the videos. When I do this same comparison next year, I want five of the videos minimum in my top performing videos of the year to be made this year. So I've got to put my thinking cap on and get some decent video and decent content out there and see how we get on with that. So we've got, I want five of my top 10 videos to be made this year. I want 20% growth on some of the metrics. And then there's just a kind of final one there. I want a working fish room, maybe a big fish tank that holds water. That'd be nice. One of the things I'm often asked is whether or not it's worth it. Is it worth making my own YouTube channel this year? Um, the short answer is yes. I think if you enjoy it, yes, it will be worth it. A lot of the people that watch my channel have their own fish keeping channels, whether they're smaller or bigger than mine, and a lot of the people that watch my channel want to have their own channel. If you are interested in it in any way, then go for it. I always say there's kind of three things that make a YouTube channel successful. You have to have a passion for your subject, um, you have to have knowledge about your subject, or you have to be very entertaining. So you pick two out of those three things, and then you're on for a good thing. If you can manage all three, even better. If you pick those subjects and you think that ticks a box for you, then yes, go ahead and make your YouTube channel. You'll probably be quite successful. If you can share your passion, people are always interested in passion. If you can share some expertise, if you know a subject really well and you can teach and help people learn and do better, that's always really useful. And if you're entertaining, even if you only have entertaining, then you probably do quite well. Um, but if you look at all the big channels, to the medium channels, to any successful channel in any way, we'll have at least two out of those three things usually. If you think you can tick that box, then yeah, go for it. It's, it's, it's a fun, I enjoy it. I wouldn't still be plugging away doing it if it wasn't fun. Uh, so I think it's well worth it. So the follow up to that is often, okay, I want to do it. How do I make it successful? I need to reiterate, this is a very mediocre YouTube channel, so take any advice from me with a pinch of salt. But what I've seen from other successful channels, what I've seen that's worked for me, even if I haven't decided to double down on it, is all the standard things that people say to you. Pick a niche, stick to your niche. Um, if you think about it, you will find that if there's 8 billion people out there in the world, you will find some of them who share some interests with you. It's about what interest do you want to share. So if I was to list all my interests here and start making videos about all different ones, this channel would not be as successful as limited success that it's got. It would not be as successful as it is. It's something I've proven before when I've gone off topic, if I've made a video about something that isn't aquariums, it just tanks. Pick your niche, stick to your niche. You've got to stick to it. You're not going to make five videos and then be the most successful thing in the world, despite what all these how to make your YouTube channel grow channels will tell you. There isn't a silver bullet, a magic formula, um, unless you have an unlimited budget and you are the most enigmatic person in the world, you just have to keep making the videos, put the grind and do all the things they suggest. But don't expect overnight success, it just it doesn't happen. You can't, the amount of times I see people who make 10 videos and they go, ah, pff, it's not worked. Mr. Beast, how many videos did he have to make before he got to any kind of recognisable size? Yeah, I think he made something like 500 videos before he got to 10,000 subscribers. So you have to keep the work going, put the work in. You have to grow thick skin. There's no getting away from it. Um, certainly as your popularity grows, even in the limited sense that I know of, the more people want to punch you, knock you down, poke holes, um, just generally be mean. If, if that kind of thing is going to get under your skin, then it's not for you. I mean, by all means, use the block button. The ban hammer is fantastic. Um, but even to block things and ban things, you quite often have to see them and yeah, just ignore most of it. Grow thick skin. You have to you have to find your audience. So again, this is more about sticking with your niche again. You, you will find your audience. These people will come together. The Venn diagram of people who are interested in the things you want to make video about will present itself over time. So keep going. You've got to put some level of production value into this. Now, I always used to say, well, done is better than perfect. So if you're making a video, there's no point keeping it back, trying to perfect it. Done is better than perfect, but done is not better than rubbish. 
if you're not going to put any effort into your editing, you have to be a very skilled person to be able to make 15-minute monologues without requiring any cuts, without any air. Uh, mm, uh, mm. The amount of videos that I see out there where people will start and the video will be... Hi guys! And you're like, why, why was that five seconds there? Just get rid of it. Nobody wants to see that. Um, so keep in mind, um, an element of production has to go into it, just to show that you're putting in some effort. Um, done is better than perfect, but done's not better than rubbish. And a little bit of production value, I mean things like if you're talking about something, if you're talking about a fish, don't show your face, show the fish. B-roll is your friend, go and take more um, footage of things. If you then dump it later, that's fine, but if you've got it there where you can cut in little bits of additives that can help you explain and tell your story a little bit better, then that will certainly help you on your way. One of the things I also find useful is a little bit of introspection. Once you have made some videos, try and take a step back, ask for feedback, give yourself some feedback. What are the things that you're good at? What are the things that you can improve on? If I do the same sort of thing, the things that I'm good at, I think my channel is good at, is presenting a, a fair and honest opinion. So if I'm doing reviews and things, I will tell you what I think. Now, everybody claims to do that, obviously, but not many people actually do it. I share my failures as much as I share my successes. Not so good for me, but I think it's good for the, the brand of the channel, if you like. You get to see my warts and all. I think people get invested in my failures as much as their own sometimes, which is nice and helps me out. Um, I, I'm okay at doing a certain level of content production. Um, I try and, the amount of errors and ums that you see in my videos, you should see how many I cut out, let's just put it that way. Things I need to improve on though is, the things I'm terrible at is self-promotion. You need to be good at going out and selling yourself and saying, look at me, trying to do the, the wow factor and the sensationalism, all the things about um, going and asking to make videos with certain people, collaborations and all the things I'm terrible at. I don't go and ask people to make videos with me and it's a really good way to grow. Um, so there's things that I can definitely improve on, um, as well as maybe building big aquariums. That would have to go down in my column of fails. I can get better at that. So there you go, that was just a quick run through of some of the stats and some of the figures that have got my channel to where it is now. I do one of these videos every year, a little bit late this year because I've been ill for the last couple of weeks, but we'll get one out every year and who knows in 2030 when I've got 100,000 subscribers, I can look back on this and go, ah, so that bit did work and that bit didn't work. But if you want to know any more about this, please let me know in the comments what, what questions you have. At the current time of filming, I think I've got like 50, just gone over 15,000 subscribers. Um, so again, not massive by any stretch of the imagination. But it did take some effort to get here, so I can share some of it. I'm happy to join me on my live streams most Fridays at 9pm UK time. I do a live stream, so you can come and join us there and ask us any questions. Or just let me know in the comments what you want to know. Uh, no secrets here. Obviously, all these figures that I shared are pre-tax. I have to pay tax on all these things. They're not profits. They are It's just general revenue. Obviously, I have to buy the stock that I then sell on. All that kind of stuff, so... This is not a money-making scheme. That way. You will not get rich quick by following my advice. If that was any use, let me know. Give me a like, give me a subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.